tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Satnam everyone, my name is Reverend Ridge and today is Sunday and today we have another episode of Practical Magic and I'm very excited for all our viewers, especially for those of you who are big fans of Bob Proctor and The Secret because today I have one of the members of Bob Proctor's group. His name is Dr. Stephen J. Cosmina and his wife Tene K. Cosmina and it's so amazing because today we're going to talk about big dreams and how do we really create patterns for success. So this is a topic that's very close to my heart because I felt like I spent the last 15 years of my life studying a lot of books about success, personal growth and development. And honestly, for a time, I wasn't really getting the momentum that I wanted. So today, I'm so excited because we have experts who can actually share to us what is it that we need to adjust and refine in the things that we need to, you know, just be open and receptive to so that when we make those adjustments, we can actually move closer to our goals. So, and without further ado, let me introduce to all of you, Tene K. Kosmaina. And she's actually the president of Success Ocean International, a consulting, coaching, and training firm that serves individuals, small and large businesses, municipalities, and corporations. Tene is a certified Proctor Gallagher consultant specializing in helping client firms to establish a corporate culture of excellence based on exceptional character and integrity of both the individual and the organization inclusive of its leaders and the executive team. One of our distinguishing assets is her ability to create an atmosphere of extraordinary customer service by instilling a sense of unity and team from the ground up. Tenny coaches the individual she works with to make quantum leaps and goal achievement by fostering radical personal transformation within. Her approach, both professionally and personally, is warm and compassionate, holistic, and spiritually based. She is also a nutritional coach. And at the same time, she's also a certified belief tearing specialist focused on supporting and educating those afflicted with type 2 diabetes. Her unique methods teach clients how to use their inherent tools to get real, rapid, and lasting results in their lives. Good evening to everybody. Good evening to you. Yeah, Absolutely Thank wonderful. You. Thanks for having us. Yeah, mm -hmm. good morning, good afternoon, good evening to people all over the world Thank looking you. in today, especially all the people that I've had conversations with over in the Philippines and the Pacific Rim and all over the world. Welcome in and thank you so much, Reverend Reg, for having yes. us today. Thank you. Yes, of course, it's our pleasure to actually have you both. And we're all excited because we've been following your work, especially on Facebook. I know that you do a lot of posts about prosperity and well-being and wholeness and getting motivated for one to achieve their goals. So this is actually one of the interviews that we look forward to having. So thank you for finding time for us today. So um, anyway, Mr. thank you so much for affirming the words uh, decision, commitment, and repetition. Because I think a lot of us, we would say at the start of the year, you want to lose some weight, you want to be stronger, you want to be healthier, things like that. But of course, all throughout the year, it's really going to take a lot of will power from a person to sustain that. And yeah. it's amazing that you're able to sustain it for 15 years. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's, it's amazing because when you talked about belief and having that willpower, I'm happy that you're sharing this to our audience because there's still a big uh, number of Filipinos who think that it's what they eat that causes them to have these health concerns. Although I'm not discounting the fact that, of course, the way you eat has a lot to do with what's happening in your body. Absolutely. But I like it that you're emphasizing the power of belief, willpower, 
and repetition so that you can actually sustain the transformation that you want. I want to ask you, Tene, what do you think is the number one most difficult thing why people are held back from transformation? Because for you, all of a sudden, you said you don't want to become part of the statistic anymore. So, did you ever go through that phase where you also had that dialogue where you were telling yourself, maybe I'm gonna try again tomorrow, but for today, I'm going to maintain my old habit. Was there that particular back and forth thing that you had to go through when you were changing your eating habits? So before the diagnosis, yes. Mm -hmm. I was going wow. through that up and down roller coaster of, I'll just try again tomorrow. And actually I was really fooling myself because I would eat something and I would really forget that I actually had eaten it and then mm -hmm. give myself permission to have it later, something decadent or something just delicious <laughs> later in the day. How convenient. I know, yeah. I, would, I would just forget <laughs> that I ate it earlier. But then yeah. once the diagnosis <laughs> came, um, it was that emotional impact on mm -hmm. me of those words that came from the doctor that just like shocked me. And mm -hmm. I really went into mode of, of wanting to be in excellent health. All I wanted to do was live. I wanted all of my extremities. I wanted to make sure that I kept my eyesight. I just wanted to live a long, healthy life. I went from the roller coaster of, oh, I'll just try again. Why does this keep happening to me? To, and, and, and my paradigm changed, absolutely. Wow. Um, so you cannot change your results until you change your paradigm. And that's exactly what I did. So that emotional, a paradigm is, is a multitude of habits that has yeah. almost ex exclusive control over everything you do, what you eat, why you eat it, how you look and walk and what you wear, um, who you choose in your life. Um, yeah. you, and when I say choose that, law of attraction choose in your life um and once i changed the paradigm of what i was eating and how i was eating and why i was eating it and what i wanted and the habits that's that's exactly what happened it all just came together to excellent health making me wow. hungry <laughs> i have this goal for next year which is to hit about a million pesos for my business and i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to break down the task so, do you want to answer this, uh, Dr. Stephen? Yeah, you take it. Yeah, um, well, congratulations. That's a, a good start is to have that big dream goal like we've been talking about. And, and it's good that you don't know how because then you know it's a big dream goal. See, the how is none of our business. If we already know how, then it's not a big enough goal so you have this this goal in this dream that you're going to do it okay so what you have to where you begin is where you are right now right you've identified it do you know yeah. why you want that what is the reason why you want that so you want to make because you want to make sure it's very clearly because a lot of people just have a goal oh i want to have a lot of money well yeah. how much how much is it how much do you need specifically why do you want a lot of money? What are you going to do with it? What is it for? Get, see, you know, we sometimes spend three or four weeks with somebody just getting yeah. down the goal onto a little card like this that says, I am so happy and grateful now that, and then you want to state that goal in the present tense, right? So mm -hmm. this is where we start. So if that's, that's indeed is your goal for next year to grow your business to that point, you want to state it very clearly you don't don't think about the how don't that is none of your business we give the how up to all the energy that is we give the how up to the divine we exactly. how is a god job but we have to like Amazing. Say, we go to the restaurant and we know how to place our order we look at the menu i want this this and this well we can't just say we want anything we have to write it down and write it out specifically i'm so happy and grateful i have what was the goal again a million pesos yeah yeah, so we would write that down in the affirmative present tense. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am generating a million pesos in my business on a yearly basis. So we would write that down on a card or whatever feels comfortable and right for your, your guest. 
and and then we would write that down every day and we were talking yeah. earlier about repetition i would get out a notebook and i would write that a hundred times you go to one wow. of your seminar he's going to have you write it out a hundred times with your yeah. non-dominant hand your left hand so wow. the, the thing <laughs> we're doing is you know Kane touched on paradigms those multitude of habits that keep us stuck we don't know how and that's okay we're going to find out how the how will be revealed to us after each step we take there's a martin luther king quote that says you don't have to see the whole staircase you just have to see the next step so when yeah. we know it, what it is we want then we ask ourselves what is it that i could do right now that i should do right now and that if i did do right now will move me that step closer to my dream. Like yeah, if I yeah. if I want to get to that wall across the room on the other side of the room and there's all kind of stuff and debris and obstacles in my way, well, I know that I can look down, clear out in front of me and I can take a step. And then the next day I can take another step and sooner or later I'm going to get to that wall. And and so that is as the hows drop in and you know when they start dropping in the how is revealed when we make that commitment so i invite yeah. your listener to say i am committed to doing this i will wow. do this and then then drop the can drop the will drop the try drop the strive and move into the commitment i am this now i am that i am I am yeah, now so yeah, happy and grateful that I am a business owner generating over a million pesos on an annual basis. Thanks be to God. Wow. wow. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.